We know how food looks and how it tastes, but what does food sound like? Um. Food squelches. It cracks, it slurps and it slops. Any chef will tell you that the first bite is with the eye. But the sounds we hear as food is being cooked, served or consumed are as important as what we see. Not the smell, not the look, but the sound of the crust. Listen. Oh, a symphony of crackle. Sounds can establish the emotional terrain or atmosphere of the scene and season the visuals to give moments a deeper flavour. But how does sound make delicious food moments even more mouth-watering? So you tell me that I'm a lucky man You're so right Yes, you're so right the sounds can serve to create an ambiance of nourishment and care in scenes of an uplifting or familial nature. In those scenes, bubbles, chops and sizzles provoke not just sense memory, but a sense of process and time. No, not the herb. What? I am making ratatouille. Food requires not only time, but someone's thought, attention and patience. And what is that? if not an act of love. In Hirokazu Koreeda's Still Walking, sweet corn fritters are so rich in their sonic power, they can draw a grouchy husband into the kitchen. <laughs> but before then, from the first moments of the film, before anything can even be seen, we hear the drum roll of preparing vegetables. Food is part of the rhythm of this family drama. Lulu Wang's film, The Farewell, is very much inspired by Still Walking, with a similarly methodic and meditative approach to its moments of indulgence. In these films, preparation shows care, love and commitment, but the effect is a little bit off when food is being prepped by a certain culinary maverick. Not very comforting, is it? In Parasite, chaotic cooking sounds add haste and sloppiness to a cacophony of disaster. Food sounds can become a portal to an atmosphere of menace and malevolence. Consider this scene in We Need to Talk About Kevin. The initial sounds of cutlery exacerbate the mood of tense silence. Then, the callous Kevin nonchalantly peels a lychee, no doubt selected for the resemblance it bears to the eyeball his sister has just lost. The sonorous pop as the fruit bursts open is shiver-inducingly sinister, an acoustic allegory for a sociopath. <laughs> We can see how important sounds are in flavouring a scene by comparing these two spaghetti-scented encounters. In this endearing moment from Brooklyn, the sounds are delicate and socially appropriate, and there is just the right ratio of spaghetti to cutlery. The sounds in the killing of a sacred deer tell a different story. And then he sticks it in his mouth. The fork grates against the plate, and the abrasive sounds mirror Nicole Kidman's agitated state. In Phantom Thread, sounds don't just accelerate the tension, they create it. Please don't move so much, Alma. Within fashion designer Reynolds Woodcock's perfectly constructed world, a world designed and structured according to his taste, the breakfast sounds are an invasion. It's hard to ignore. It's as if you just rode a horse across the room. Although a nice piece of toast might appear familiar, sounds can make simple dishes anything but comfort foods. This strudel might look sweet, but the atmosphere sours when a murderous Nazi makes his violent desires cuttingly clear. 
And the slop of mashed potatoes might sound funny, but not when it's part of a manic episode. The sounds of eating further communicate and complicate our experience. Does anybody actually read my column? Do your friends ever talk about it? In Wes Anderson's first animation, quote unquote, fantastic Mr. Fox, eating noises remind us that even if they're reading the newspaper at a dining table, this is still a feral world. <laughs> In the Wild Goose Lake, a nourishing bowl of noodles is hastily slurped, heightening a race to avoid a grisly fate. And while the visuals might tell us that this is a fine cake to eat, the sounds tell a different story. <laughs> There's a buffet of reasons why a cinematic meal is worth the effort it takes to cook up. Food is something which conjures a complicated stew of emotions, and what we hear in these culinary moments guides us through them. Shut up! In any on-screen food moment, whether it's creating tension, concocting chemistry, or fostering heartwarming familiarity, sound design is always an essential ingredient. Mm. And if this has wet your appetite to hear all about the world of Foley artists and sound, make sure you listen to Rap Party with Prime Video wherever you get your podcasts.